This DVD explains all the different steps involved in resurfacing your concrete. The first step is to thoroughly clean the entire area to be resurfaced with a high pressure cleaner. Once it has completely dried, which can take anywhere between an hour to a day depending on the time of year, a primer is applied to ensure good adhesion. When the primer is dried, masking tape is applied to avoid getting any colour on any areas not being resurfaced. All the edges are painted by hand to make for a neater finish when the base coat is applied. The colour being applied is a cement product and not a paint. The base coat is now applied with the squeegee. Once the base coat is dried, the whole area is rubbed back with a rubbing stone to remove any lumps or marks from the squeegee. Now we mask off everything that needs to be protected from overstrike. When everything is being masked up, a light coat of the base colour is sprayed on. Now it's time to lay the stencil. The stencil needs to sit flat and is held down with many pieces of blue tack. It's now time to spray on the main colour.
Once the first coat is dried, the second coat is spraying on. When the second coat dries, the stencil is taken up and all the blue tack removed. The whole job is then scrubbed to remove any loose particles or underspray. All the plastic and masking tape is then taken off. Then there is the final clean with the blower prior to sealing. And finally, a clear sealer is applied to enhance the colour and protect it.